Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how to insert push buttons on your selection screen. In your program you have to use the statement selection screen push button with your push button name. Then append additional text user command with your function code. It is also required to specify at which column your button will be placed. You do that by writing the first number and the number in brackets define your push button length. The next line declares one push button more on the selection screen. The next line places three empty lines between the group of two push buttons and the third push button here. Here is the very first event of screen processing. It is initialization event where you can make some initial settings. In my example I have added an icon and some text on each push button. You can do it with the statement concatenate plus icon name plus text symbol. Between them one space is inserted by using additional reserved text separated by. To be able to use icon names you have first to use the statement type pools to declare icons like in this line here. By double click on the word icon you can display the type group and list all icon names which you can use. If you want to see the actual icon, you can do that by opening another session and starting the icon transaction. It will display the table where icons are stored. For text symbols, you can also with double click jump into text symbols tab. It is located inside the text elements declaration screen. Here you can update your assigned text to a text symbol. After each change, don't forget to activate your changes by clicking on Activate button. If I now execute the program, it is visible that all push buttons have their texts and icons properly assigned. There are two additional events which can help you to control the status of your push buttons. The event at selection screen output is triggered each time exactly before displaying your selection screen. And the event at selection screen is raised as the last event in selection screen processing. Any user input you can check in this event because at that point in time input data is transferred to your program. In my example I'm just going to save the user command function code in a global variable in this line here. The system field syucom stands for user command. Then in the next event at selection screen output I'm going to check the content of that global variable. And then depending which push button was pressed the program is going to show a pop-up window with appropriate text and icon on it. Now I'm going to set up three breakpoints so you can see how the sequence of events work. One break point here, the second one here, and the last one here. I'm going to execute the program. And we see in the debugger that we have immediately jumped into event before output. I'm going now to display all variables what we have. And it is visible that both the system variable SYUCOM and the global variable are empty. 
By clicking on Continue button, the selection screen is displayed. I'll click on the push button Show Red. It is visible that event at selection screen has been triggered immediately after user input. And we can see that system field has our user command function code PB1. Now I'm going to click on continue button. We are now in the event at selection screen output. And our global variable has the value from the system field preserved. And we can see that the system field is cleared between events. Now I'm going to click on single step button two times. And it means that the pop-up window with the correct information will be shown. I can try another push button. This one is shown correctly as well. And now I'm going to click on Execute button. We have again jumped into Event after user input. The system field has new value. I'm going to click on Continue button again. And we are now in the start of selection event. The system field is empty and global variable has the value of the system field from the previous event. By clicking on Continue button again, the report displays the global variable content.